So now we have the Oakland Raiders up to get their report card. Now, the Oakland Raiders went into last season, and I'm really not sure what their plan was, but John Gruden being their head coach, I think that he actually had an idea of the old ways where a coach comes in and he completely cleans house no matter who the player is, no matter what, and he takes care of business that way. And he pretty much builds his team his way. And so I think he came into last year with that same mindset. No matter what the outside world was thinking, no matter what the outside media was saying, he knew for a fact that he wanted to get some, get rid of some guys and then bring in his team and build his team from the foundation up, which is a smart move. I mean, you guys are watching my undrafted series. It's a smart move. Like, build your team with players you know you have and what they're capable of and just be comfortable with their attitude and what they have. First up, they have Cleveland Farrell. Don't butcher me on that. Like, don't destroy me. I'm pretty sure I said that right. But with him, I think they got a really clean player. It was kind of shocking at first. I had to take a step back, and I'm not even a Raiders fan, but I had to take a step back and really look at the pick and evaluate the pick as a whole. Where they took him, I don't like it. I like the player. I just don't like where they took him at the fourth overall pick. I feel like if you wanted him, you probably could have traded back two or three more picks and got him and still got some other people, too, to fill out your draft. But they went with him. They knew they loved him. They knew they want him. And I think that just shows into the player, at the player, too. Like, I don't think in his mind, he knew he was going to be a first-round pick, but not a top-five pick. But it makes sense. If you're the Oakland Raiders and you love him, you want to buy into him, you want to let him know that we are into you. Like, you are our guy, regardless, 100%, regardless of what everybody else says or anything. And just sticks to John Gruden and what he's been doing this whole entire season, this whole entire year, if you will is that I'm sticking to my guys, what I want, 100%, no matter what nobody says. Even with Mike Mayock, and Mike Mayock has the same attitude, my guys, 100%, no matter what anybody else says. But with Farrell, I like his ability to help out in the run game, what he's going to do there, and then he's going to also be a good pass rusher. Well, he has surprising quickness when I was watching him and everything that I was breaking down on him. He has really surprising quickness. I think he caught a lot of people, a lot of guards and tackles off guard. And they just wasn't ready for what he was be being able to do as far as from a quickness standpoint. And then I think overall, when you look at his body of work, what he's going to bring to the Oakland Raiders is a consistent 10 sack guy. And if you, you can't ask for more than that, I think that that's going to be his career. I don't think he's ever going to hit like, you know, 15, 16 or even close to 20 sacks. But I definitely feel like he's going to be a consistent, you know, that's 10 sacks that we're going to get every year from this kind of guy. And that's something that I think that Mike Mayock and John Gruden really wanted to kind of bring in. They just want a consistent role player, a consistent guy that they can feel comfortable with starting every Sunday, knowing that he's going to go out there and do his job 100%. Now, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this one. When it comes down to Josh Jacobs, I think he was literally their worst pick. They took him in the first round, and it was like, now you're kind of going to what the media says. Now, I'm not sure if they were truly in love with Josh Jacobs or if they were just following what everybody else was doing and everybody else was saying. But when it came down to it, I didn't feel like they needed Josh Jacobs, especially at this pick. I understand you needed a running back, but we knew what this running back class was. We knew that you can get a quality running back in the second, third, maybe in the fourth and fifth round. There was other guys that even went undrafted, I feel like, that they could have went out and picked up and had a better chance of making them starters or at least contributors to the offensive side of the ball. Josh Jacobs is a guy that they brought in, and I think they hope that he's going to be a feature back. And I like him. Like, you guys know that I love Alabama, Alabama running backs. I, it's nothing against Josh Jacobs. I just didn't like taking a running back, and especially in this draft. There was no Todd Gurley. There was no Melvin Gordon. There was no Adrian Peterson. There was no – I can't even think of any other running backs. There's no running back that you can say we can build a team around this guy, 100%. Zeke Elliott. Like, there's no guy like that. So – you could have waited to the second and third round and got a running back. And I just think they took Josh Jacobs because everybody else is saying take Josh Jacobs, honestly. Now, the pick that the Oakland Raiders made that I like the most, like I was dead serious in love with this pick. You guys can go back and watch my mock draft, and you can see that I even gave him to the Kansas City Chiefs, was Isaiah Johnson. This guy is going to be a legit corner. He is going to be such a good corner, and they stole him from the NFL. Like, I'm so jealous because what the Raiders are doing right now is going to be so legit. And with Isaiah Johnson in the secondary, it's going to be even better. He's a long corner. He's like 6'2", really long arms. But what makes him so deadly is like some long corners are good striders and they can run with people down the field and things like that. And they don't work really well in quick, uh, small areas. But with Isaiah Johnson, he's really quick to break on balls. He works really well in short areas. And on top of that, he's still a long corner. Now, he doesn't have a lot of top-end speed. But I feel like that 
that quick area quickness, and that's where the game is going to. A lot of people with quick passes and things like that, and with his long arms, he's going to shut down a lot of players, in my opinion. And it's going to be so exciting to watch him play. Unfortunately, I have to watch him play against us two times a year, but it's going to be exciting to watch him play, and he's literally probably one of my favorite players in this whole entire draft class. So when it's all said and done, I really feel like the Oakland Raiders deserve a B. And it could be an A. It's like really pushing that B-plus range. And the reason why I felt like if they would have traded back and still got Cleveland Farrell at like a later pick and added more picks to their draft hole, they would have been even better. And the same thing with the Josh Jacob pick. I just didn't like those two picks being where they were at. The players are cool. I like the players. I like the players a lot. It's just I didn't like taking those players at those respective picks. They could have added more value to their draft and got a little bit more, a couple more bodies in there. But overall, I think a lot of players went undrafted, and I think they're going to make a lot of money as far as undrafted as well. But when it comes down to it, you look at it, they added a lot of speed to their draft. Like this draft class has a lot of speed to it. It has a lot of quickness, and it has a lot of athleticism. You think about the six games that they know they're going to have to play every year. These guys are some guys that can hang with some players in their division and really help things out like that. Like Isaiah Johnson can help out on the Keenan Allen. Cleveland Farrell can help out on a guy like Pat Mahomes and getting pressure. Even Phillip Rivers getting pressure there. Uh, and then whatever Denver decides to do, I don't know what Denver's doing at quarterback. But that's what they added to this class is something that can really help them on the defensive side of the ball to really help in their division in those six games that they got to play every year. I like the Oakland Raiders draft. I really do. Like I said, just the players or just the picks where they got the players. If that was changed up a little bit, it can definitely be an A. But overall, they had a really solid draft. So that's all I have for the Oakland Raiders draft class. Like I said, they had a really solid draft. B, B plus, somewhere around there. But I definitely feel like they had a solid draft class. And they got a lot of contributors to their team that's going to make a true impact, I feel like, this season on their roster. So that's going to be a plus in itself. But if you're an Oakland Raider fan and you hate me because I'm a Chiefs fan, don't let the hate stop you from subscribing to the YouTube channel and become a footballologist. So, I mean, why not? And stay safe, football fans. I'll talk to y'all next time.